In 1893, Tesla's AC transmission system had been proven superior over the existing DC transmission system. Westinghouse won the bid to supply electrical power for the World's Columbian Exposition. Due to an increase in his popularity following the success of the World's Columbian Exposition, Tesla started becoming famous in the social circles of the power elite. In the era where patents are being filed to legally secure one's control and monopoly over businesses and earn maximum profits, Nikola Tesla did the exact opposite. He was neither concerned about the fame nor the profits that came with his work, but was solely concerned with the advancement of science and its beneficial impact for mankind. Tesla dreamed of using electric impulses to transmit linguistic words from one corner of the planet to another, without wires. By 1893, Tesla's theories on the possibilities of the transmission of words by radio waves were proven through his lectures and demonstrations. But as Tesla prepared to perfect this technology for the greater good of mankind, a tragedy struck. What caused Nikola Tesla's 1895 lab fire? In the early morning of March 13, 1895, the South Fifth Avenue building that housed Nikola Tesla's lab caught fire. Tesla was habituated to working late in his lab. Once immersed in his work, he would often forget about time and usually skip his food. One night he was busy working in his lab when an impulse made him leave the lab for dinner. As he dined, there came a knock on the door. A messenger had arrived with the news that there had been an explosion in the building housing Tesla's laboratory and everything had been destroyed. It started in the basement of the building and was so intense that the fourth floor lab burned and collapsed into the second floor. The fire not only set back Tesla's ongoing projects, it destroyed a collection of early notes and research material, models and demonstration pieces, including many that had been exhibited at the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition. Tesla was totally distraught by the loss mentally as well as financially. The fire destroyed all his research papers, notes and patents. All of his books, journals, and also all of his apparatus left Tesla penniless. Tesla made the rounds in New York trying to find investors for what he thought would be a viable system of wireless transmission. In March 1901, he obtained $150,000. He received these funds from J.P. Morgan in return for a 51% share of any generated wireless patents, and so he began planning for the Wardenclyffe Tower facility to be built in Shoreham, New York. By July 1901, Tesla had expanded his plans to build a more powerful transmitter to leap ahead of Marconi's radio base system. In December 1901, Marconi successfully transmitted the letter S from England to Newfoundland, defeating Tesla in the race to be the first to complete such a transmission. The tower had been erected to its full 187 feet. Then in June 1902, investors on Wall Street were putting their money into Marconi's system and some in the press began turning against Tesla's project, claiming it was a hoax. The project came to a halt in 1905. Eventually, Tesla had lost the property in foreclosure in 1915, and in 1917, the tower was demolished by the new owner. On the 7th of January, 1943, at the age of 86, Tesla died alone in room 3327 of the New Yorker Hotel. His body was later found by a maid after she had entered Tesla's room ignoring the Do Not Disturb sign that Tesla placed there himself two days earlier. Two days later, the Federal Bureau of Investigation ordered the alien property custodian to seize Tesla's belongings, even though Tesla was an American citizen. A man named John G. Trump, a professor at MIT, and well-known electrical engineer serving as technical aide to the National Defense Research Committee was called in to analyze Tesla's items, which were being held in custody. 
After a three-day investigation, Trump's report concluded that there was nothing to worry about in unfriendly hands.